So to summarise my time at Sheffield, um, to say I've, it's been a club that means a lot to us um, would be an under understatement, I suppose. Um, really enjoyed my time here over the past, well, since 2019, five years. It doesn't seem like um, a year or two ago that I joined this, this club. Um, I've had many special memories and, um, yeah, I'll look back with fond memories. So this was one... Uh, Debut game 2019. It's a great year. Just going back through some of the tries there. I think we. Oh, I just got there then. It, I got four tries in this game. Um, and I remember after the game, it was a strange one because we played no friendlies, which one I wasn't probably used to. And um, we had a brand new group and set of lads. And yeah, I think we ran out 60, 60 odd points to. 18 winners. I remember Keith saying after it as well, we didn't build enough pressure. <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit crazy that one, but great year for us as a club. And yeah, that debut game was something special. Yeah, this one was at uh, Featherston. Uh, was it quarter final this against um, the scenes on toast? Because he goes through, boom. <laughs> it's a try in the. I think we was losing this game by about 16 points with like seven minutes or, some, or so to go. And I remember Blackie outsiders, Ben Blackmore in that first year was outstanding as well. Um, and we, we'd, I'd booked an holiday for the for the Challenge Cup final week. Obviously, that's a week of the, <laughs> the 1895 Cup final as well. And I remember getting when we was getting beat at the time, I was like, oh, win-win if we lose. I go away if we win. And yeah, I got that try in the, uh, I think it was a couple of minutes to go. I remember coming off and Mrs. says, <laughs> we're not going on holiday then. She still went, I think. <laughs> So this clip is from uh, the final in 2019 again. What a year that was. But um, yeah, I got some stick after this try from Widness fans. There was uh, inboxing me saying it's two on one. The rest is history under the sticks at Wembley. Um, again, 2019, what a season. What, like, personally and as a team, you know, first. There you go, final whistle. Something special that weekend. And obviously one that'll that'll be special to a lot of the fans here as well. So yeah, after that um, 2019 year, as I've mentioned, that was a fantastic year for personal accolades and um, team-wise as well. We, you know, it was a great year. And then obviously COVID to 2020, which was obviously mixed for everyone. Obviously, it was part-time teams. I think we played seven games that year. So again, trying to get back into it. And then we didn't go so great in 2021. And it was like sort of a building phase again. Went into 2022 and then um, I think, is this from 2022? Batley clip? I think it might be. Or 2023? Is this last year? So yeah, we're at Batley. I remember Corey saying to me before the game again, there was a, a few um, personal milestones this year. So like you made your, four, I think I made my 400th career appearance. I needed something like a few tries for a thousand points. Um, and I, I think a, a couple of tri free tries or something for 250. And Corey said to me before the game, he went, you'll get it tonight. And um, yeah, against Batley, away at Batley. But, so I got my hat-trick in this game. It was a great win. And then uh, big Mikey Wood going through there. Interception. And then, um, yeah, that the last try was straight from a kick-off. Me and Bish had been speaking about this in the week, saying, oh, look, if it comes, we'll we'll put it on. And we was up a bit, so we thought, oh, we'll try it. And uh that's the one I nearly get caught by a forward. Obviously, this one uh, from this year, 2024, which will, will be my last as a professional. Um, again, fondest of memories at this club and means a lot to us. Uh, last five years, made over 100 appearances and stuff. Um, this year has been a bit frustrating. Obviously, in your last year, you want to play as much as you can. Age is obviously not on my side anymore. Um, and injuries are part and parcel of this game, so... You know, I haven't played as many as I'd like this year, but um, special mention of those last five years as well to the to the people at this this club, whether it be you fans who have always had our backs and, and will turn out every week, um, from the staff, obviously the media staff, medical staff, rubbers, um, you've all had your part to play, and then obviously the coaching staff as well that have put in hours and hours of work. Um, and the guys that got me here in the first place, can't thank you enough. And yeah, this was um, this is a clip from 
obviously this year the cup final again going back there on what is to be my final year as a professional um fantastic again obviously the result aside you know to walk out with my boys again i can't thank sheffield enough for sorting that because it's memories that you can't actually buy and uh, i'll be forever grateful for that and yeah we was a bit under the pump in this game and just going through the clips obviously on the try opening the scoring and we had a glimpse of what if it could be um unfortunately it won't to be wakefield was was too good on the day and obviously rightly so winners but special memories nonetheless you know scoring at Wembley again yeah mega message for you fans um to hopefully get get this place rocking on Friday night against York obviously tomorrow night um our last regular season home game so fingers crossed we'll have maybe one more here in the playoffs but yeah it'd be nice to see you all packing this place out and and singing your songs tomorrow